I want to talk to you a little bit more about what happened in Re'im here on Black Saturday, the 7th of October. We just were not ready. It was 50 years since the Yom Kippur War, 50 years to the day we were not prepared for what was coming. Unbelievable carnage, unbelievable damage. Merciless killers. May God judge them. On Shabbat, the 7th of October, 2023, during the holy day of Simchat Torah, which is the end of Tabernacles, last day when we roll the scrolls back, suddenly over 2,000 Hamas terrorists and civilians burst through the Gaza uh, fence, a border fence, infiltrating the Israel by land, by air, by sea, advancing on Israeli communities with this sole purpose of killing as many men, women, and children, innocent in the highest population they could, the highest amount they could, in conjunction with indiscriminate rocket fire on hospitals, on schools, on kindergartens, on homes, towns in the south, even hitting Jerusalem. You can see the bullet holes right here. Unbelievable. Imagine that it's early in the morning and you're invaded by mobs of Nukba elite force uh, shooting every single place and uh, killing everyone, killing everyone, just murdering everyone. And uh, it's still this way. It's been half a year since that time and it's still here. And then of course what happened is, you remember, look at all the bullet holes. Can you see all those bullet holes? Everywhere. And what? What happened is the helicopter finally came and shot from the sky and there was about uh, a bunch of elite Nukba, that's the elite of Hamas forces here. And what happens is they sh a helicopter shot, an Israeli helicopter shot through the roof and there is where the missile, our missile came in and didn't kill all of them, it killed some of them. The rest of them were fighting all in here and you can see the bullet holes. And then what happened is, is uh, there was f only four Bedouin, Bedouin Israelis who fought, they fought valiantly. Atrocities on a scale that has not been seen since the ISIS massacred uh, so many innocents in Sinjar in 2014. They filmed themselves with GoPros. They showed this on, uh, and we collecting other security cameras, other sources, survivors testimonies, we put together a horror story where families were slaughtered in their beds, women viciously raped, children uh, killed in their beds, uh, innocent civilians maimed, arms cut off, arms and legs cut off, genitals shot, and even babies uh, butchered, civilians burnt alive. Again, people just at a peace festival, at a dance festival, at a music festival, murdered, raped, abducted, taken as hostage. Uh, over 200 Israeli citizens, far over 200 Strafed. were kidnapped, held, as, held for ransom. And uh, many of the women are elderly. They took men, women, they even took Arabs, um, Israeli Arabs hostage. This is a serious humanitarian crisis. And I've been stationed in the Re south near Re'im. Some of my time I've been uh, serving in Re'im area and I got to see more of the story from up close. And I wanted you to see just some of what happened. These bulletproof vests are really life-saving instruments. And this guy's a warrior defending <laughs> Israel. <laughs> Thank you, Alia Center. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to keep you safe, man. <laughs>